Have you ever found yourself tangled in the complexities of RxJS, trying to handle events in a specific way? It can be quite a challenge, right? If that sounds like you, stick around, because today we're diving into how to treat the first case emitted by an observable specially, while still continuing to stream the rest. I totally get it. It's frustrating when you want to handle the first event differently, but still need to keep your subscription alive. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers face similar challenges when working with observables. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, how can I separately handle the first event emitted by an observable, but continue my subscription? They provided a code snippet that didn't quite work as expected. Sound familiar? Let's break it down together. So what's going wrong here? The challenge lies in how we manage the first event while still allowing the observable to continue emitting subsequent events. Understanding this behavior is crucial for effective RxJS programming. And don't go anywhere. I'll share a neat trick at the end that will make handling observables a breeze. To handle the first emitted event separately, the user can utilize the first operator from RxJS. This operator allows the user to specify a condition for the first emission. Next, the user should continue the stream after handling the first event. This can be achieved by using the merge map operator to switch to the inner observable. Now, the user can subscribe to the observable to receive the rest of the events. This ensures that the first event is handled separately while the rest continue streaming. Finally, the user should test the implementation to ensure that the first event is logged separately and the subsequent events are processed as expected. Fun fact. Did you know that RxJS was inspired by the observer pattern in programming? It's fascinating how these concepts evolve into powerful tools for developers. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user suggests using two subscribers to handle the first event differently while continuing to process the rest. The first subscriber captures only the first emitted value, while the second subscriber processes all emitted values. To implement a special handler for the first event and a common handler for the rest, the user recommends using the skip operator. This allows you to skip the first event for the second subscriber while ensuring the first event is processed separately. That wraps up that answer. Let's move on to another one. This user suggests a simple solution to handle the first event separately. They propose using a Boolean flag to track whether it's the first event. If it is, you perform a special action. For all subsequent events, you handle them differently. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. This user suggests using the publish operator along with first and concat to handle the first emitted event separately. Their approach allows you to treat the first event differently while continuing to stream the rest. That's all for that response. Let's see what someone else had to say. One alternative approach is to create a custom operator called onFirst. This operator subscribes to the source observable, processes the first emitted value, and then removes itself from the chain. This allows you to handle the first event separately while continuing to stream the rest. Here's the trick I promised. Always remember to manage your subscriptions carefully. Using operators like take and merge map can help you streamline your event handling and keep your code clean. And there you have it. You should now be able to handle the first event emitted by an observable while continuing to stream the rest. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks on mastering RxJS.